Uh, Ono and your co-elders in the palace, uh, we salute you too. Thank you very much. <clears throat> your Majesty, our visit to your kingdom and to your palace is like the mission of an old woman who misplaced her snuff box. All of us know what it means. She will go far and near to make sure she finds it. She will never, never leave anything unturned, including beds, clothes, boxes, everywhere. Your proverbs are always very deep. Huh? <laughs> As a matter of fact, our journey is a very sorrowful one. Your Majesty, it is no longer news that the people of the Moni Kingdom have been losing their kings on the throne. I mean, losing their kings on the throne immediately after their coronations. Very pathetic, Your Majesty. We will say that we are at the verge of correcting the errors. If at all they are not yet corrected. We got an, uh, a woman, a priestess, who revealed to us why the things are happening. That we have been handpicking people and crowning them as our kings. But there are people we thought that the gods of the land have already chosen and approved for crowning. And at the end they will die. So she said, that a royal blooded person, son of the soil, must sit on the throne before death will stop because she had she is still seeing a lot of deaths on that throne. 
Certainly, that's the truth, Your Majesty. Eventually, she told us that Jamike, our late king, has a son that we never knew. And that his son is here in your kingdom. Yes, Your Majesty. Uh, do we know him? I mean, if I may ask, what is his name? Your Majesty, his name is Ikemefuna. Yes. He is the grandson of uh, Nedi, an old woman that fries Akara here in the kingdom. You lie! You are a blatant liar! No, 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 you don't call me a liar. Yes, that is what you are. Oh. Your Majesty, so you connived with these people to come here and tell us this nonsense? For your information, the so-called Ikemefuna raped my daughter. What? Yes. He almost raped her to death. But the laws of our land have caught up with him. We are waiting for the next Eke day when he will be hanged in this palace. Yes. Your Majesty, you have now confirmed my fears. The villagers and the youths have been saying that your daughter and Ikemefuna are going out. And because of that, you want to exonerate the boy from this crime. When it was the turn of Ekene, you did not waste time to execute him. You stripped his father of his titles. And when he could not contain it anymore and took his life, what did you do? You instructed that his body be thrown into the evil forest. And here you are, trying to exonerate a boy who raped my daughter. You can come from the east, west, north or south. I don't care. It will not stop Ikemifuna's execution come next Ikemaket day. Oh no. Behave yourself. What has come over you? How dare you disrespect our king in the presence of our visitors? Better control your temper. After all, we all are in this together. Nonsense. I don't have your time now. But your highness, I will not sit down here and continue to listen to this nonsense. It is very, very unfortunate that at this point we have a very sensitive matter at hand. Ike Mefuna, in question, is in our custody. Right in the palace cell, of course. Though he was accused of rape, that he raped and maimed the daughter of Oh no, who just left here now? But nevertheless, I want to say, you are welcome. You see, our people used to say, and let me just put it this way, our people say that the gods do not kill anyone whose hands are clean. Of course, he came if now. Pleaded not guilty of such allegation or accusation. But anyhow, continue what you are saying. I want to believe my king here will have something to tell you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You. You, you, your Majesty, please, can I say something? Please go ahead. Go ahead. Um, your Majesty, I know the weight of this accusation. We know what it means and we detest it. Such is a very heinous crime, even in our own kingdom. Um, Your Majesty, I want to appeal to you. I would like you to use your wisdom and give justice to this. Thank you very much. We don't need violence. 
that let the truth come out well. Well, um, it's all right. Uh, the gods will give us the wisdom to handle this uh, issue. Okay? Uh, you are most welcome to my kingdom. And uh, I can assure you that um, your safety is guaranteed. of your mind? Huh? I am not out of my mind. I am very sound, as you can see. Now listen, whatever they call you, princess, we are not here to see your face or anyone's face here. Now, get this notice. We are doing our job. We are out to search any car that passes this road. So, be a good citizen, a law-abiding person. Boys, open the boots. Obodo. Open the boots! Why will you search my car? For what? Princess! Now me like tell for Allah's breakfast though! I'm sure you wouldn't like to have a taste of tea this morning. But sir Damoto. Open the boots. Why will you want to search my car? Search my car for what? Are you dead? Open the boots! Pass! Open the boots! I know what you want to do. I know that Chidi put you up to this. Let me tell you something. That Ikeme Funa will get justice. He will get justice. Mm. Yes. That is Babash. Babash. And let me let you know this too. Whether Ikeme Funa or Ikem Funa, <laughs> get justice is not my business. Do you understand? What all we are doing is to make sure this kingdom is safe. Yes. Young man, can't you recognize what is on our head? And show us some respect. Whatever they want to do, let them do. The princess is here. You mean respect? Respect indeed. What is on your head? You mean the red cap? Boy! Open that red cap. Let me see what is on his head. Nothing. <laughs> Put it back. Now, be calm or I will pull off your clothes and I will see your nakedness. Be calm. Now, get inside the car. Is it clear? You search everywhere. It's clear. It's clear. Get inside your car. Now, close the door. Oh, yeah? Okay. Fast! Yeah. You don't want to go? Right? Yes. You're doing a white job. So, go. Be careful. You will hear from me. I will hear nothing. I will hear nothing. I'm out to do my job. I just want to make sure justice is prevailed in this kingdom. So it was the king's son who raped my daughter. No, 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 please. It is not rape. They had an affair. Yes, they had an affair. And he drove her away. Or chop ya koko. Okuya? What was there? We didn't know what happened, but I came... knew it. I knew Adure was not telling me the truth. The prince must have threatened to kill her if she speaks out. Oh, no. we're walking in Kitty Kuchionu Konyo, we're bad in it. 
Ai! Hey! He wasn't that wicked. So, he came from that my grandchild is a royal blood. Yes. Yes. Ah! I do where are you? I do that. Come on, come and fight for your son. The quick hello there, man. Your son is innocent. A hey to the throne. He's innocent. Come wherever you are. You are hearing my voice. Come and fight for your son. Let the truth be revealed. Let the truth be revealed. Everything under the sun must come to light. Every hidden secret must come to limelight for everyone to see for themselves. It's okay. Oh, I'm surprised. I so you mean you came in from the royal blood? Yes, it is. There's no doubt about that. This is unbelievable. Ha! The cat has been let out of the bag. The truth is out. Let Ono Wu and his group go and hide their faces in shame and keep quiet. Let me still educate you people. The king did not state manage anything. He didn't state manage anything with us. Our people are aware that we are here. And if you people are in doubt of what we are saying, you can go and verify. Please, if people are saying the truth, we are not here to play games or hide anything. If anybody is in doubt, they can go to our kingdom to find out the truth. Ujofo, of the kingdom. I'm in a position to say the truth any time of my life. I can never say lies. Never. So everything we are telling you is true. We can't deceive you. Please. We don't have faith in our evil again. Yes. And I will look for a way to see how he can be voted out from that throne. And his princess will leave that palace with immediate effect. Yes. He is not saying a word about Ikim's act. And that silence speaks a volume. I think he wants to strategize and look for how he will either send that boy abroad or declare him innocent. Yes. Oman me. no Buddha. That is an absolute aura. It can never happen. In this kingdom, it is not possible. Oh no. It's not possible. No way. We the youth. We are alerted. As I speak to you, we are mounting guard on the palace gates to make sure he came or anybody will never escape from that palace. I know. And at the same time, our informant inside the palace is giving us the rightful information. Nobody will escape. He came, is still in the palace cell. Oh, but I know all that. But I don't want us to depend solely on uh, uh, an insider. He or she may be compromised. Yes. But oh, that is why we are mounting guards. Roadblocks. And searching every car that comes out of the palace. As a matter of fact, you know, no stone will be left unturned. Gee. Let us talk about removing the eagle from the throne first. That man can outsmart us. You know he's a wise man. Hello. I do not have any interest on the throne. That is set for you, the Ono, and the others to decide. 
My primary concern is to make sure that Daddy came from of a boy who be executed before the eyes of everyone on the Kemake day. Chid, you are a true son of your father. Can you imagine that bastard snatching the princess from you? A rapist that wants to be seen walking around with the princess. And they claim he's an heir to their throne. I don't even want to hear that because I believe it's a setup by the Iwe so that he will declare him innocent. A stupid boy that does not even know his father or his background and they're saying that he's an heir. What stupid heir is that? That is none of my business. AK Market Day is fast approaching. Oh no, in as much as Ekene was killed on this course, posterity must have its due course. Ekene Funa must die just the way Ekene did. That's my own view. I trust you people. I know what you can do. Huh? Look, you don't have to blame her. She was doing it so that she won't be killed. Probably with you in her womb. She wanted to save you and herself. So you don't have to blame her. Okay? Look. Your late father was a king. And you are to sit on the throne of Umuani Kingdom. If not you, no one will succeed the throne alive. My both parents are dead. I'm sorry. I know I would die with my innocence. You will not. Okay? You will not. You will not die. I'm already feeling it.
constant suffering. I came here for now. I am in a very precarious situation right now. I am convinced that you are innocent. But the unfortunate thing is that I cannot convince my people about it. Right from the first day I set my eyes on you, I liked you. The situation I find myself right now is that there is a law that I cannot uh, repeal because of the way the law was promulgated. It's actually a decree. And that decree stipulates death penalty by hanging on anyone found guilty of rape in my kingdom. So you see, my hands are tied. I'm sorry. You and I know that Ikim is innocent. He didn't do it. You have to tell the elders everything. Yes, someone did it to her, but definitely not Ikim of all people. Please, I am beginning to feel very terrible right now. Chidi is instigating the youth. He's making sure that Ikim is put to death. All because of the princess is no longer interested in him anymore. He is very happy and will not stop at nothing. Neka, Neka, please. Let's tell the elders and the youth that he came is innocent. Please. Well, not we are not there. Yes. I know, but you and I know that Ikim cannot do such a thing. He's, he's innocent. Change is constant. People can change. Yeah, you're correct. But I strongly believe that Ikim is innocent. Chiyamaka is lying. She has refused to avail to the princess or anyone, all in the name of she's seriously sick. Neka, please. You know Ikim is innocent. His grandmother is sick. She might just die before the execution. Excuse me. Neka! Neka! No. No, this is not happening. No. He came is innocent. Chiamaka is the offer of Umu Mikim. It is very clear that you and your fellow elders do not want to leave our land. And our Igwe here has put you in safe hands. 
but I want to let you know that your opinion will never count in this kingdom. This is our kingdom. It is our tradition, our norm. When you get to your own kingdom, you can make suggestions, not here. Now tell me, if it was your daughter that was raped brutally in the bush, would you be here asking for room for a trial? Yes. Uh, no, yes. Yes. You don't nail an accused. You don't nail him or her until he or she is proved wrong beyond every reasonable doubt. Oh, will you shut up your mouth? Shut up! What? Yes. Your Majesty, have you heard him? Have you heard him insulting me because I came to your kingdom? Calm down, please. Calm Did down. I come here to fight you? Banano. Huh? It's not good for you to insult our visitor. Like that. You asked him a question. And he answered you. Why then the insult? It's not good. You have him. Well, uh, the Majesty, I respect your thoughts. Uh, it's well. All I appeal for is for you to use your discretions and do the needful. Thank you very much. And uh, please, uh, no, I know you are pained, but equally be considerate. Thank you. Um, Ojofo, I want to thank you. I want to appreciate the fact that uh, you identified with what uh, Maono is passing through. Okay, and you were able to calm down. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. And uh, Ono. Mm -hmm. I want to appeal to you. Please calm down. Okay? Uh, I share in your pain. And we do everything possible to ensure that we get to the root of this matter. Yes. All right? Uh, you know, in our kingdom, we always say it, that uh, we will not perfect justice. And uh, my decision on this matter is that the accused must be given fair trial yeah. after carrying out due diligence. I have spoken. Thank you very much. Mas, you are welcome. Thank you very much. How is she faring? Her temperature is still high. High. Thank God you are back with the medicine. Mm. Let me go and get a glass of water so that she can take the medicine. Uh, yes, mm. yes, yes. No. My grandson is my medicine. No amount of medication can cure my pain. Is my cure. I want to see him come here for me. No, the man. You will see him certainly, but you have to remain alive, be alive, so that you'll be able to see him. Please take your medicine now. Hmm? One hour. Be cool. The boy is heartless. He's wicked, unlike his daughter. I dreamt that he killed. My grandson. I know he will kill him. But I'd rather die before he does that. I'd rather die. The world is very wicked. They can do undo. They don't care who dies or who lives. They don't care who misses you or whatever. 
the world is wicked. You know, you are right. But what you are saying, it can be for an issue at this point. You need to take your medicine to be alive. Because I want to see my grandson return to me alive. That's the only medicine I need. He came here for the... Mazi, well, let us wait for Jofo. I believe you come back here with good news. I believe so too. I know the gods of our land will make it possible for us to go home with our air to be thrown. Just take your medicine. A hen that enters a new land walks with one leg up. Yeah, you're right. But I can see that both of you are protected by a strong covering in this palace. And I shall laugh at both of you tomorrow when the chief priest will confirm your heir to the throne of Umo the kingdom, a stupid rapist, and come next a key market day, his head would not be on his body. Mark my word, it is not about hatred, it's about justice. Uh, uh, come here, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, we shouldn't be enemies because of all this now. Eh? Even if it happens so, we take it as our fate. We will not run away from, 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 from our land. What kind of stupidity is that? And we are calling you, you are calling up. You, you, you just imagine him. Yeah, Why would you say that our, 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 our kingdom is a stupid kingdom? Who are you? Is your kingdom better than ours? At all. Dingo. You are lucky you walked away. Else I would have told you something you will regret all your life. Idiot. Just imagine. Let's go. No. So what is it? In as much as we don't support rape, that we frown and that we don't encourage rape, don't you think we have to have another plan? But what has just happened here? I think we should have alternative plan. What if? There is nothing, nothing like a what if. Mm -hmm. Just erase that clause, what if. I don't want to hear it. I will do that, but listen to me first. I'm listening. Good. It seems you've forgotten what the chief priest has told us when we are coming to this. Yes, kingdom. can you remind me? Good. She said about the dark cloud, sorrow, agony. Remember, the old woman is already sick. And she's lamenting non-stop. This thing is getting out of hand though. I think we should have plan B. Because it's like a supply that is pitching on our scrub uh, to know. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Listen. Mm -hmm. The goals of our land mm -hmm. are with us in this journey. Mm -hmm. I am not troubled in my heart. Not at all. Because right now, mm. I have not seen nor have a feeling of any biasness in anything. Mm. Do you get me? Now listen. Mm. Ike Mefula mm. is innocent. Okay. So do not be afraid. Erase fears in your heart. We will go home successfully with Ike Mefula. So, delete everything. Do not be afraid. Let's go. 
my king, your majesty. <laughs> Your Majesty, I can hold this anymore. I can hold this anymore. <laughs> Our loved ones are dying. The other day, our kids was raped to death brutally. <laughs> and yet, nothing is being done. My king. Do something. Do something. Do something about it before we lose everyone. <laughs> Please. Please, Your Majesty. Please. Just do something. Our guests can no longer go to bed with their two eyes closed. This, this, this things are getting out of hand. There is no other person we can beckon on as it is now. Please, Your Majesty. Please. Well, um, I've heard you, my people. This is not happening for the first time. But our people say that many days are for the thief. But one day, one day, is for the owner. The incessant raping of our daughters is getting out of hands. And we are tired of crying, mourning, and burying our dead. But one thing I can assure you, justice must prevail. Whoever that is perpetrating this evil will be caught one day. I am going to hold a meeting with my cabinet members. I will put something in place to ensure that the perpetrator or perpetrators are caught. So please, I feel your pains. I share in your anger. Go home. Go home and rest. Why have you refused to eat? That was my mom. She's hanging on. Hanging on more than you. But I... My mom may not survive before my execution. We can't don't say that. There is hope. Look, an external chief priest is coming to vindicate you. Yeah. You're going to be free, yes. Yes. All thanks to the elders of your kingdom. I must say you're really wise and smart. They changed the whole scary situation. So all we have to do now is to await the chief first. But I still don't feel like there is hope. Shh. Stop it. There is hope. Okay. You will be vindicated. You will. So. I'm sorry too. I'm sorry. It's okay. But there's a bad news. What happened? Nico. 
one of the palace maiden. She's dead. Dead. We found her corpse by the roadside. I don't know, but people said her death has something to do with this. This issue is a delicate one. And the reason is simple. It has to do with a human life. If you don't tell us the truth, and we make wrong decision, it will be irreversible and irreparable. So please, our daughter, Tell us the truth. On the day you were raped, did you see Ikemefuna? Can you confirm that it was Ikemefuna that raped you? Please tell us the truth. Yes, Your Majesty. Ikemefuna raped me. He abused me. He beat me and almost choked me to death. I was screaming, trying to help myself away from him. But he overpowered me and he raped me right in the bush. Chiamaka, you have heard it from His Majesty. We want you to tell us nothing but the truth. Ikemefuna made it clear to us that he met you in the bush unconscious. Is it true? Or were you paid to accuse him? With all due respect, Your Majesty, I cannot sit here and allow anybody to intimidate my daughter. She has said that Ikemefuna raped her. Or do you want to put words into her mouth? For goodness sake, he came and raped my daughter! No, we take it easy. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Jack. Do you understand? You can't leave. Um... We've all heard what she said, right? The only thing we can do now is to wait on Ezemo to confirm the authenticity of uh, what she told us, okay? So I strongly suggest that uh, we calm down, you know, so that uh, we wait for that verdict. Is that clear? Why are you elders of Umwani anxious to know the truth? The heir to the throne has been accused. I see everything. Mm. Doubt is fear. And fear is unbelief. Uncertainty breeds fear. <clears throat> it 
You want to know if he's going to be killed or not. <clears throat> Victory or failure? Futility or success? <clears throat> yes, wise one. The kingdom have opened their mouth to eat him up. For it is by wisdom one kills the fly that perches beneath his scrotum. A man does not go to another man's house to fight him unprepared. For whatever he believes is what he gets. Wise one. We believe the heir to the throne of this kingdom is innocent. Are we right or wrong? Near death. Near death. Men are folly in their decisions. You have two market dates. Two dates. That's all you have left. Mm. <clears throat> and an elderly man clears his throat. The spirits listen. It's recording. It is said that when it happens to the eyes, it happens to the nose. Nambo, ono. <laughs> One does not sleep with a log of wood in his eyes. Gods of our land, we still call upon you. Because we cannot do without you. We pray that our journey to the other kingdom will not be in vain. He said, We shall not return to Umoni kingdom in shame. He said, We therefore implore you, O gods of Umoni kingdom, protect and guide us. Said, in a strange land that we have visited. He said, Tomorrow, may our son, Ikemefula, be vindicated. May you take us home safely with Ikemefula tomorrow. All this we ask and we believe that the gods of our land must answer us. Yeah, it's right, girl. Go, guys. 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 Yes, you are correct. She's praying to her chi. Tomorrow is very heavy. Because it is judgment day. Our hearts are panting in our palms. Hmm. Hmm.
The night is so long. It refused to break. The priestess refused to say anything to you people, right? It was all in riddles. I knew it. I understand. This is like life and death. The people of this land want Ikemefla dead. But the people of Umwani Kingdom want him to live. If we miss him, if we miss him, I don't know the fate of Umwani Kingdom. Ojo mm. of Umwani Kingdom, you have spoken to our ancestors over four times today. Please, go in and rest your head. Resting the head is like coming the mind. Does a man go chasing the rats when his abode is on fire? Mm -hmm. Oh, dear four, don't worry. The gods will give us victory. You see... It sadly looks like the worst night of my life. I can't sleep. I have died many times. I am dead. Go back to your chamber. Rest your head and sleep. The gods of our land would vindicate Ikemefuna. The gods who did not allow your little evil king to flush out Ikemefuna from his mother's womb is still alive. He can never be forgiven wherever he is for putting us through into this predicament. Amen. How is your health? My health? A man who just recovered from an illness and his son dies. How is he healthy? As you can see, I am not fine. I am now whispering like a new mad woman in the market square who has just lost her children in a day. Now that music and why put our love for We know how you feel. Please. The gods we <laughs> there is no secret under the sun. Light and darkness do not meet. Likewise, truth and falsehood can never agree. The gods have revealed that you raped her.
There is no need for too much talk. The gods have vindicated my daughter. He can is a rapist. A useless one at that. What are we waiting for? Your majesty, pass your judgment. Please, fix a date for Ikim to be executed. Yes. Your majesty. Your I... Eh? Please. This is a moment of judgment. Tell him. <laughs> well, uh, it might interest you to know that I am not convinced by what the Ezemo said a few minutes ago. What is it? Yes. Consequently, I am not passing any judgment on Ikemefuna. Your Majesty. He is the Majesty, the King. He has the final say. This is beyond me. It's beyond me. It will pull me down. If I do anything against the will of the people. I know you can do something. And the king cannot die. You know that. And you know. Look, if I go down, you go down. You should know that. You know I love you so much. I can do anything for you. But this is beyond me. Please, please, please. Okay, I beg okay. you.
few people should bury him in your land when they finally kill him. Kebefuda is a great boy. He always wished to know where he came from. Me, our people are coming to take you to our kingdom tomorrow. Ikemefla must not die. We are going to crown him the king of Umwani kingdom tomorrow. See, what happened has happened. Hmm? But I am happy that justice has finally prevailed. Yes. I don't want anything to affect your health. It's okay. But let them wait and see how the head of that their stupid hair will be cut off tomorrow in this kingdom. I am happy that the gods have proved them and his majesty wrong. The boy will be killed tomorrow, and his useless body will be thrown into the evil forest. In this land, we will not allow them to carry his body to the kingdom. It's useless. I have to be on my way now. It's okay. Thank you. I want us to run. I know a place that we can follow. We're not going to get caught, okay? Just, just, um, you know what? Go and hide over there. Hide, okay? I'm coming. Achebe! Achebe! Please come. Yes, please call a lot you come. I am the princess of this kingdom, okay? And I command you three to turn around and leave. Shh! Women don't talk when it comes to this case. Women don't talk when it comes to this case. Step up. Look at this. I said stop talking. Ikem, look back. This is no longer about Shabaka. This is about eradicating people like you from the kingdom. No, no, get in. I said you are on fire. No, you are Get it! Go, go, Speak to me. Speak to me. Let the calamity be still. 
feel your spirit. On mm. mm. the hidden truth. Madure. Why do you want to disgrace me? Why do you want to humiliate me? I'm sorry, my prince. You are sorry? What is it? Why did you call me? My prince, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm scared. I'm confused. She's been asking me what's wrong with me. And what did you tell her? Adore, what did you tell her? Listen to me, Adore. If you dare mention my name, I swear to the gods, I will kill you. I will have my dad strangle you to death. Obele. Come. Go to my chamber. You will see an envelope, a very big envelope, filled with money. Bring it, and when you do, hand it over to her. Now listen and listen attentively. That money will be enough for you to flee from this kingdom. I do not want to see you or anything that looks like you in my father's kingdom. Else, I will have your head. Do you understand me? Do you understand me, Adure? Yes, my prince. Good. Very good. Adore, I know you love your mother very much. If you ever mention my name anywhere, I swear I will kill your mother and I will kill you too. Don't say I did not warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you. You know how dangerous it is to play with me. Don't! Adure, fight for your son. Mm. Unravel the hidden truth. Mm. Mm. Fight for your son. Where is Adia Tonamba? The son of a king does not die in a strange land. Instead, let heads roll. Hmm. 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 Adure! Fight! Ikemefuna, <laughs> as the Onowu of this kingdom, I ask you to make your last wish. <laughs> Which bush in particular? 
Ngele. That is where he sets his trap. Almost everyone is aware of that. Oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> what is it? What do you want to do? Come on. No! Come here. You sent for me. What is the problem? Why are you instigating the youths of this kingdom? You even pay them on a daily to haunt the palace. Why? <laughs> oh, that? As a matter of fact, I am not haunting the palace. I'm only making sure that he came does not escape from the palace. That is enough. You have to stop now. Who the heck are you to give me instruction on when to stop? Oh, because you're my informant, right? If you do not stop, I will tell the Igwe and the villagers that you raped me. Yes. I don't know about Ikem's ordeal, but I am 100% sure that you are behind it. So you have to stop now. Else I will confess everything to them. You raped me, Sachidi. You did. Uh, it's okay, I... I promise you, I... I will stop. Yeah, sure. I will stop, yeah. An innocent person of rape. Evil man. Is there more? What are you talking about? The gods can never tell lies. Be careful so that you don't incur the wrath of the gods. I, I, yeah, as am I. Yes, I, 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 I did it. Please, I, I want you to cover me up. Trust me, if you cover me up, I'll give you the sum of 500,000 Naira. Please. May the gods forbid. Evil man, how dare you? I'm chosen by the gods to speak the truth. You are full of evil. Alright, uh, uh, Okay, I, I understand. 500,000 Naira is very small. I'll make it one million naira. I have it cash in my car right now. One million naira. Cash? Oh, yes. Cash. Ezema, please. All I want to do for me, just point your finger to that prisoner. If you don't defend me, I will be hanged. Please, let him go in place of me. Then you give me two million. Two million. Uh, uh, okay, fine. I, I agreed. I, two million naira. I'll give you two million naira. But what I have right now in my car is one million naira. Okay? I'll give the one million naira as soon as you're done with the deal. I'll give you the balance of one million naira. Trust me, I will do it. The boy is a royal blood. I've seen it in the spirit. His name has just been revealed to me. It will take two infants to die for me to cover these secrets. Okay. It is not an easy task to kill a royal blood. I hope you know that. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I know. Thank 
Quiet! She did got dancing. Quiet, everyone! As you can see, my great people of the Allah Kingdom, he came from here. He's innocent. Consequently, he has been declared a free man. Oh no, you are the number two citizen of this kingdom. You swore to an oath of allegiance to the king and indeed the kingdom. In as much as I appreciate the fact that you did what you did because of your love for your daughter, and because your daughter lied to you, the requirements of our offices demand that we work in harmony. For you to revolt against the king and disgrace the king in the presence of visitors is unacceptable. Consequently, you are hereby removed as you know of this kingdom. Igwe, the heart of a man is always with his children. It was only natural that I did what I did. No father will be comfortable seeing his daughter raped ruthlessly in the bush. Yes. I swore an oath of allegiance to you. And, uh, I want to say that I take full responsibility for my actions. The interest of this kingdom supersedes every other interest. And on that note, Igwe, I want to say that I am very sorry. I'm sorry. Eh? From the depth of my heart, please forgive me, Biko. Please. Chiamaka. Eh? Chiamaka. Yes. Chiamaka, read my lips. How many times I call you? Three. Three good times, right? Yes, sir. Fine. Let's not stretch this. Hmm? Okay. I did what I did for justice to be served. Is that okay? Get that into your head. I know, Biko. Oh, but, oh, 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 Chidi has scattered you. Now turn you up and down. Hey. Front and back. Back and front. And your lover, I mean your almighty lover who came, who you tried to kill, is now a king. You can't even try and step to his level. So you are coming back to me, Obudu. 
Let me have your bag. It can't work. It can't work. Your case is over. It seems you are smoking something. Ah. Your brain is skipping. Please. Mo abu obodo. Obodo no eri obodo. Abu mo lodo. Please. I don't have any business to do with you. Obodo, please. I have something to go and do. Please. Let me go and hustle. Excuse me. Obodo, bitch. Obodo, wait, please. Obodo, bitch, okay. We are so happy for you. We appreciate everything you have done for us. Since you came, it's about one year now. And we have been very peaceful. Woman in Kingdom has witnessed the kind of peace and joy they never witnessed before. There has not been death. They have not been dead. They have, we, we have been progressing in everything we do. So we wish to thank you so much. Thank you. And may the gods of our land of Umona bless you. Wise one, I will send for my guests to bring you your gift. Thank you very much for all you have done. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. May your reign be peaceful. May you reign in authority. May there be multiple fruits on your table. May you reign forever. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. I take my leave now. Okay, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. You go, Bastis, here. Your Majesty. My father? Yes, sir. My father is here. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>